Hi guys, this is Ola from Cardbond. In this video, we're going to proceed to create our action buttons, which are our usual, uh, possibly I should say, A, B, Y, and X buttons. They are very easy to create, and in the process of that, we're going to learn how to use the create text and also to extrude text. It's going to be a very short video, and let's get right into it. The first thing for us to do is to create a new design and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want us to touch on the assemble um, tab. So I'm trying to create the parts separately. So our first step right now is for us to create a new sketch and for this sketch we're going to create a circle. Going over to this, the casing and selecting on sketches. We observe that the diameter of this hole here is 11.15 millimeters and so therefore we are going to be creating our buttons keeping that dimension in mind. To begin our first step is going to be to create a circle and here creating this using 11.5 millimeters as its diameter. Um, let me just cross check what we have. So this is 11.15 and you notice that what I'm doing is slightly bigger than this, but there's a reason for that. All right. So I haven't created this. I go to finish sketch, um, in this way and extrude. The extrusion of this part is going to be 1.5 millimeters. And it looks just like this. Or let's say we could reduce this to one millimeter edit feature and say one and okay all right at this point we are going to need to place our buttons and if we take a look at our reference image we have a x y and b they are different um, alphabets but we begin with just one so let's say the y I would select on this top face, right click and go to back here, create sketch. Under the create tab here, we have text. I click on text and you will notice that we are required to place a corner of text frame. So I'll select on just any corner and place any corner to create like a box. Here we're supposed to input our text and caps lock and Y. All right. So this is a little bit very large. Since the diameter of this is 11 point something, um, we expect that this should be quite smaller. So I would just say, let's create this to be about 5.0 and that looks okay. 5.0 except this to be at the center and at the center and say okay nonetheless we notice that it's still not um properly positioned so i'll just click and drag and place it somewhere here with that done finish sketch all right we notice it's on this top face and i click on extrude select on the sketch and drag this upwards I make sure that join is not selected but rather new body and in extruding it upwards i would make it one millimeter also and say okay all right guys at this point we have just very little left to do i go back to create sketch i select on this side plane any of this so let me say select on this and then what I would do is to go to create, select on project and select intersect. So for the intersect, I select on this face, right? And say, okay. 
So we notice this line has been created. In the front view, I also go to the origin and pick on this axis line. I go to line, draw from this point upwards. I click on escape and just um, draw something this way. This way. Um, this way and then I use arc a three point arc so I select on the first the second point and this way lastly go back to line construction line and draw something in this direction all right so at this point I place my dimensions the dimension of this um, line here it's going to be 5.25 all right um the length or height of this line is going to be three all right this is going to be two millimeters and lastly i'll place tangential constraint between this and the line we drew here um, this line should be horizontal. So, um, let's see. I go to escape constraints. I need the line to be horizontal. Select on this. So it's horizontal. And then we have this. All right. At this point, finish sketch. The next is going to be to revolve. Since the profile is already selected, my axis is this. And ensure not to select join or cut, but I'll say new body. And OK. So at this point, the last thing for us to do, since we have, I think, three bodies here now, is going to be to merge two of these bodies, I guess. Um, yeah. And then to intersect or cuts so i say combine um however we are using the cut so um target body is this body here and then the two body is the y under so i keep the two and say okay so if you notice that we have um something like this which is good at this point we combine these two bodies, body one and body three. Combine body one, select two body and this. Uh, remove keep two and say join. And we say okay. All right, guys. So at this point, this is actually done. However, we can't see what's within. Um, but when we get into the render phase, would be able to um, see the components um, as they are. In the meantime, if I right click on this body and say appearance and choose a transparent appearance, something like, um, let's not say glass, let's say plastic and um, transparent. So I'll just choose acrylic clear drag and drop um not the face um yeah body components um that's weird <laughs> anyways so we are able to see that the y component is within um, all right so i'll close this and go ctrl z so that's what this is for so be done and I would save this part as button Y. I'm saving it under buttons, remember, and click on save. So since we have Y, X, A, and B, I would simply go over to edit the text to X, A, and B and save those as individual parts.
so at this point we are done with this and the process is very simple and i'll see you in the next video hi there if you liked this video you can give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and if you are yet to subscribe it takes you just about three seconds to click on the button and select the notification bell so you get updates when new uploads are made all right that's all for now See you in the next video.